Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig. I am on the outskirts of Billings, Montana, headed into Wyoming here shortly. I was thinking about some stuff yesterday, as I often do while on the road. And I was thinking about the three moments when something clicked in my head for the three passions that I have. Uh, songwriting and storytelling, cowboy boot content, and just cowboy boots in general, and also marketing. So there were, there were three points in each one of those passions where it just clicked in my, in my head and it was like, oh, this makes so much more sense now. Starting with songwriting. When I was growing up, I played the banjo quite a bit and I would write songs but they'd be instrumentals. I really didn't write lyrics. I would listen to music and I listened to everything from Linkin Park to the Stanley Brothers and I would listen to it and I would I would understand the lyrics but I just didn't have that sense of I need to write songs. I would play banjo, I would play the old classics, I would sing, I loved it. And then somewhere in high school or just after high school I was driving with my dad and he had on some Bob Dylan I was listening to Bob Dylan it was I Want You by Bob Dylan it's a great song and I was thinking songs can sound like this lyrics can be like this and it was just a switch in my head. It was college, it was after high school because I wrote my first song at the Monroe Community College. And I heard Bob Dylan in the truck and it was so awakening. I could bring in all of the things from poetry into music and mix that with banjo and guitar and harmonica. It's like I, I had this click exactly what this whole video is about, that click moment. And then I started writing. And when I started writing after that click, it sounded way too much like Bob Dylan. Like if you listen to the first four four albums that I made that were just like on my computer with the worst computer mic that you could imagine, it was not mixed at all, it sounded like crap, I sounded like crap, and I basically sounded like Bob Dylan, a really cheap, bad Bob Dylan. And I I still have that music, but I haven't released it or anything. It wasn't until I started playing with the Jack Swift band, and around that time, that I started to break away from that sound and bring in more influences like the Dave Matthews band because the jam band we were we were really uh, influenced by that kind of sound because that was popular then but it was that click and that's what made me want to write songs was listening to Bob Dylan then with cowboy boots this is the second click that I had that made me realize cowboy boots are the best footwear that are available to humans. When I was growing up, I would break pretty much everything that I touched. My parents wouldn't let me touch uh, things at stores. Uh, I was at Disneyland with my parents and my brother and we went to the Epcot Center and we went to a restaurant. I got chocolate mousse and I was just eating the chocolate mousse and I broke the glass by just using a spoon with the glass. I wasn't being overly aggressive, it just broke. I broke everything. I broke all of the cell phones that I had. It was ridiculous. I don't know why everything breaks. I think that I'm just really hard on things. I like to use them to their full capacity and when they don't, uh, they don't agree with what my full capacity is, they don't have the durability that I require from things then they break. Cowboy boots <laughs> are so durable. And when I realized this, it was a click. I was like, there's no other footwear that is just across the board 
as durable as a cowboy boot. I am so hard on my cowboy boots. My first pair has been resold six times. They're cracked, they look gross. Gasoline has been spilled on them. They've gotten wet, they've gotten uh, gas, the muddy, you know, you name it. It's happened to these boots. They've been across country. They've been the most durable boots that I've ever had and it really sold me on the quality of cowboy boots. That was the click, was when I went on tour with my boots for the first time with the Jack Swift Band. They had already gotten uh, cracked and uh, Daryl Brown Sr. helped me shine them up before the Cleveland show and I realized cowboy boots are meant for this. Cowboy boots are meant for people like me who require a high quality product that they know will not break no matter what they give it. Thirdly, the third click that I had was in marketing. Now, when I started doing marketing, I did social media and uh, that's it. Pretty much a little bit of traditional stuff too. I was working for telecommunications companies, I was working for education companies, and it was just social media all the time. And then I stopped doing social media and I went into search engine optimization, just doing like little data pulls here and there, trying to pull some data from Google Analytics, from SEO Moz, from uh, Ahrefs, Majestic, you name it, putting together these SEO reports and doing some link building, keyword research, these things that are just done behind the scenes in content marketing or even just for our website. And at one point when I was doing keyword research and link building, I was able to connect it back to my social media experience and I realized that content is in the middle of that. You have nothing, you do not have social media or you don't have links or anything SEO if you do not have content. And when I realized that, I was like, I want to do content. Content is the most important thing that you could do for a business or a personal brand and that's why I do so much of it is because everything follows content. SEO follows content, social media follows content. And once I had experience on both sides, that clicked with me and I knew content was the most important thing and that's what I wanted to do. And this was four years into my marketing career, four or five years. It's just been relatively recently that I made that connection and I just wanted to do content, content, content all the time. I love it. And across the board, there's the story, right? The story goes into each one of those passions. Story in music, story in cowboy boots just because they're so durable and they last forever and finally story in content marketing because without the story, you have nothing of value. Those are my three clicks that I've had in each one of my passions. Have you had any of those kinds of clicks in any of your passions? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Peace everybody, I'll see you later.